Let us approach pain today. Metatarsalgia is a type of pain. So pain is to protect and therefore generates a withdrawal or a protective reflex. So you protect the site of problem by the protective reflex. Pain travels by three neurons from the site to the spinal cord by the nerve, from the spinal cord to the thalamus by the spinothalamic tract and from thalamus to the cortex by the thalamicocortical tract. Pain is a com complaint and therefore you must have a checklist of information to be collected about pain. You must practice this checklist and you must be able to present complete information about the pain of the patient. So the checklist is time, place, person, distribution. Then site character intensity radiation, onset course duration, treatment taken response, aggravating factor, relieving factor and associated factors. Now this checklist you must memorize, practice and you should be able to present any pain history under these headings. Then let us try to analyze the information. The pathology can be at the site of pain or distant from the site of pain. If it is at the site, tenderness will be present. If it is distant, tenderness will be absent. So localized tenderness helps you decide whether it is referred pain or whether it is localized pain. Think systematically. Skin, corn injury, dermatitis, erysipelas, burn, all these can cause injury to the skin and pain in the skin. Subcutaneous tissue, cellulitis or abscess, deep fascia, fasciitis or fibrofasciitis, muscles, cramp, injury, infarct or ischemia, ischemic pain in muscles can be because of arterial diseases which we'll tell you in a, in a short moment. Ligaments where they insert to periosteum, you have deposition of immune complexes there and the pathology is called as enthesmopathy. This is the basic pathology of ankylosing spondylitis because later it needs to stiffness and limitation of movement. So ankylosing spondylitis involves these two. Then bone, fractures, infections, tumors, osteoporosis, osteomalacia. The characteristic of joint problems is that the pain is on movement and it may be associated with deformity. And you can remember all types of arthritis within the joint, intra-articular or extra-articular, periarthritis, which can produce this type of pain. Then artery, so remember this formula of rested, R-E-S-T-E-D, Raynaud's empolic, senile, thrombangitis, obliterance of Burgess disease, ergot alkaloid poisoning, which is also called as St. Anthony's fire, and diabetes mellitus. All these and giant cell arthritis can cause severe ischemic pain. Then in the vein, thrombophlebitis. In the nerve, entrapment of the nerve, for example, scalenus anticus syndrome, entrapment in cervical spondylitis, a prolapsed intervertebral disc, uh, Entrapment in the greater sciatic notch, the piriformis syndrome, the median nerve entrapped in the carpal tunnel, the carpal tunnel syndrome, or a neuropathy of the nerve. Single nerve, mononeuritis. Multiple nerves asymmetrically, mononeuritis, multiplex. And symmetrical involvement of many nerves, polyneuritis. Then lymphatics can get involved in filaria, infection, TB or tumor. 
then viscera like appendix can cause pain at the mac pain and tenderness at the mac burney's point the cecum is amoebic tephalitis colon is colitis pleura is associated with pleural rub and pain which increases on inspiration and expiration same way you can have a splenic rub the the sub acute bacterial endocarditis involving the spleen can cause that splenic rub and splenic infarct and pain in the spleen region then we talk of these are localized causes now we talk of important referral pains trigeminal neuralgia which is to dis be distinguished from truth related or tonsil related referred pain ear related pain while you are taking a flight the eustachian tube can become blocked the pressure in the middle ear can rise and you have the acute suppurative otitis media causing a pain of this side then cervical spondylitis and disc prolapse also cervical rip can cause brachialgia then in the chest intercostalgia is usually caused burning pain type herpes zoster prolapsed intervertebral disc can cause sciatica hip disease can cause knee pain and knee disease can cause hip pain because the obturator nerve anterior branch supplies the hip and obturator nerve posterior branch supplies the knee the cardiac pain is referred to the shoulder and the upper limb usually on the left side the splenic and the hepatic pains are referred to the left and the right shoulder the left being called the keher sign and the right being called as the traudio sign we must learn to recognize these pains by their pattern so we must do pattern recognition and by practice pattern pattern recognition will become stronger and stronger in your minds so you should be able to diagnose them early investigate them and then treat them then we can talk of colics intestinal colic upper abdominal pyloric stenosis left to right shifting of ball from left to right and tenderness in the epigastrium then intestinal colic can be in the ileum also in ileocecal tuberculosis then ureteric colic because of stone so all these are types of colic we must learn to recognize all these patterns clinically and be able to diagnose them early investigate them and treat them appropriately thank you